Akizuki, the pride and joy of the Imperial Japanese Navy. When designing her, Japanese engineers use the most advanced technologies of the time. In our game, this ship can be found at Tier 8 of the new alternative Japanese destroyer branch. What peculiar things will it bring to the samurai gameplay? Externally, Akizuki looks like her sisters in arms. Low draft, narrow hull, and decent concealment. Purely Japanese traits. However, in top configuration, she features 20,400 hit points, which is the best survivability in her tier. However, because this ship is pretty large, her maximum speed is only 33 knots, and the turning circle radius is 730 meters, which is only 30 meters shorter than that of North Carolina. Indeed, the destroyer isn't that maneuverable, and you'll probably need appropriate upgrades. But as you cast your eyes over the armaments, you'll immediately forget about mobility issues. Eight 100 mm guns are installed in four turrets. Their loading time is three seconds. And with the basic firing training perk, it's 2.7. With a relevant commander skill, the gun's firing range can reach 12 kilometers, so you get one of the best artillery batteries not only among the Japanese, but among all destroyers in the game. However, there are more surprises in store for you. Akizuki's anti-aircraft armament is so powerful that it outmatches even some cruisers. The long-range AA guns can engage enemies at a range of 5 kilometers. That will be an unpleasant surprise for aircraft as they want to view Japanese destroyers as a serious threat before. Besides these trump cards, there's another. The Torpedo Launcher. Yes, indeed, there's only one on board, but Akizuki has as many as four slots for consumables, one of which can be occupied by a torpedo reload booster, reducing the time for this operation to five seconds. The torpedoes themselves are peculiar, too. They're like flying shuriken. With a relevant commander skill, their speed is 72 knots, the highest among all destroyers. And the final fold in the origami is good concealment coupled with an enhanced rate of fire. This allows you to conduct fire while remaining unseen by the enemy. Have you already realized the true vocation of Akizuki? She's a true destroyer eradicator. Remember all those times when you were capturing a key area or trying to push through a flank? And you met an enemy destroyer face to face, and then both of you started dancing around attempting to sink one another with torpedoes or artillery? Well, no more dancing. Veni, Viti, Sankum. Like a steel hammer, Akizuki is ideal for advancing to an area with a destroyer threat. And she's got some torpedoes on board to combat enemy cruisers and battleships. Of course, you shouldn't rush forward blindly. Gear up your ship properly first. Upgrades will be helpful, but it's a tough choice. You improve either your air defense or artillery. This decision will also determine which commander skills should be developed. A fine-tuned Akizuki turns into a curious destroyer featuring unique gameplay. She's not just smoke on the water, but a mighty warrior, a sumo wrestler for her class. The large size and powerful artillery make Akizuki similar to a light cruiser. Her gameplay is more creative and diverse as compared to that of a typical Japanese destroyer. The greatest effectiveness can be achieved if you team up in a division with another destroyer or a fast cruiser. Good luck and fair seas, Captains!